Hello, I'm back with a update on my Raspberry Pi data center project. Um, got my first machine actually able to boot off of storage. Um, I was going to do iSCSI at first, but uh, there's problems with building the iSCSI target with the kernel, so I um, ended up skipping that and uh, using NFS. Uh, there's some guides online about using Raspberry Pi for NFS, but uh, so what I ended up doing is I bought the uh, Raspberry Pi compute module and I found a drive caddy that had a SATA on it for um, from Western Digital. It was pretty cheap, about 29 bucks I think is what it was. But uh, and here's that. So it's just basically this I/O module that plugs straight into a drive, and then the uh, the Pi module just pops in. Of course, I didn't get it in there square. Pop it back out. All right, there we go. Now it's in there. Um, the only drawback major drawback to this is it doesn't have network on it I figured that would be one of the items that it would have on it but it only had USB so I had to get a I got a little one gig uh, Ethernet adapter this USB which I still believe I'm limited by the bus on this but um, so get this plugged up turned on Set the camera down for a quick second. All right, so now it's plugged up, and then we just turn this on. I have to give this a few minutes to boot. I actually loaded Berry Boot on this, and looking back at it now, I probably will go back and take that off because that Squash FS uses a extra processor time to uncompress files, even though the NFS share itself isn't compressed. So um, this is booting up right now. So I have the NFS export set up on here, and it's doing, um, shows uh, it's one gig, supposedly it's one gig, it's connected at one gig, but I doubt that's the throughput on this board and all that, but um, I did the, did the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the memory hack or whatever it is to enable the boot code option on the Raspberry Pi 3 that's sitting here on top. So this one here. What we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to pull this SD card out. So there's the SD card. I'm just going to lay it on top. So this is now booted up. And then what I'll do next is take the power. Actually, and pull the video cable. So that's booted. want to get an HDMI KVM but they're way expensive so I'm going to plug this Pi in here without the SD card the SD card is still sitting on top I'll let this bake for just a second and there it goes Like I said, I don't know if you can see it, but there is no SD card in that slot right there.
And here's one strange thing I've seen is it says enable to enumerate USB device, so I'm not sure why, but if I have, seems like if I have USB plugged up to it, so if I unplugged it and I'm plugging it back in, let it boot. So now we're booting into the Pixel desktop. I think this particular setup I have is a little on the slow side. Until I get the actual storage sped up a bunch, I think that's going to be my limiting factor at the moment. So now I got the full desktop. Plug my USB back in. Again, I don't know why. I have to unplug it right now, but. Um, plug it right there. Oh, look. USB's plugged back in. I got mouse again. Um, I'm waiting for this program to start up, sorry. I'm hoping when I get the the disk speed up that a lot of this will get faster get some noise from my speaker because it's charging right now Alexa sing jingle bells Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! So yeah, that's Alexa. 
doing the NFS boot. <laughs> it's just a proof of concept just to try it. Um, like I said, once I get the storage speed up, I hope to make this run a lot faster. But anyways, that's the project. Alexa, set living room to 72 degrees. Setting living room, home, heat to 72. I don't know if you could hear, but my heat just kicked on, so it's fully integrated, fully working. So I just wanted to show this off, see what you guys thought. Um, su subscribe, leave a comment at the bottom. Sorry, this video is a little dry. I don't feel super good right now either. So, um, But once I get the extra storage up, I'm going to have another set of pies hooked up. And then i got to get all of these pies, the rest of these pies, transferred over to NFS. Um, once I figure out, though, i, I got to figure this out and get that faster. Um, I may have to use a PC for a while until I figure out what I can do to make this faster. I, I do want to keep it all running on the Raspberry Pis, but... I, I need the performance, so if that means I gotta get a micro PC or something, I probably will. So, anyways, if anybody's got any ideas, please feel free to let me know. Thanks.